from a deadly river of boiling death to one of the only documented cases of a person being literally eaten by piranhas, here are 10 of the scariest things found in the Amazon. Number 10. The River of Death Did you know that there is a literal river of boiling water known for scorching the flesh off bones and boiling any animal silly enough to fall in? This sounds like something that would be in a Lord of the Rings movie, but it's absolutely real. There is a very real river of boiling death hidden deep in the Peruvian jungle. The turquoise water inside the river can reach 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is significantly hotter than your cup of morning coffee. The water also reaches 16 feet deep at points, and the mud on the riverbanks is far too hot to walk on with bare feet. If you were to dip your foot into the boiling river at its hottest point, you would receive third degree burns in a split second. Animals like frogs and birds that accidentally dunk themselves into the river die pretty much immediately. The eyes are cooked first, so if you see a bird fall in, its eyes will begin to boil out of its head. At this point, you're probably wondering just how a place like this could exist. The truth is that it shouldn't. Boiling rivers should only exist near volcanoes, and yet, the nearest active volcano is over 400 miles away from this location. There are no magmatic systems anywhere in the Amazon jungle. The only explanation that makes sense is that a hydrothermal feature is causing the river to reach such temperatures. The water from the river probably seeps deep underground, where it heats up and then resurfaces through faults and cracks. At least, this is according to the research done by Andres Russo from the Southern Methodist University in Texas, who was the first one to find and document the boiling river. So far, it's one of the largest and most mysterious geothermal features anywhere on Earth. Number 9. Anaconda Diving There's nothing scarier than rubbing noses with the largest snake on the planet. A man recently came face to face with an anaconda at the bottom of an Amazonian river. But what's really crazy is that Bartolomeo Bove actually went diving with the intention of finding this deadly beast. And boy, did he! He came upon a 23-foot-long green anaconda, estimated to weigh over 200 pounds. Lucky for him, the snake didn't seem very hungry. The diver did manage to capture the entire encounter on video though, and throughout the whole thing, the snake just kind of left him alone. In fact, the anaconda simply seemed inconvenienced by the intrusion. The snake sniffed at the camera and then swam away down the river, leaving Bove alone. But in all honesty, he was very lucky. An anaconda of that size could have easily wrapped its body around the diver and squeezed him so hard that his bones would have snapped like twigs. Then, if the anaconda felt like it, it could have swallowed him whole. Number 8. The Brazilian Grape Tree The Brazilian Grape Tree is one of the freakiest things a person might stumble upon in the Amazon jungle. But wait, how is a tree scary? Well, at first glance, it looks as though the Amazon Grape Tree is covered in weird parasitic pods as if it's covered in diseased sores. However, these aren't parasites, and they're also not grapes, despite the tree's name. These are little violet fruits that sprout directly from the tree's trunk. In the plant world, this kind of tree is known as a cauliflory, and the tree's actual name is the jaboticaba tree. The fruit is edible, though you need to bite through the hard skin and suck out the white flesh inside. The jaboticaba fruit is wildly popular in South America, though it's not widely seen in the United States. And even though the tree might look frightening at first, it's actually completely harmless and safe to touch. It's just another freaky thing growing in the Amazon. Have you heard of the Brazilian grape tree before? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 7. The Silk Henge Spider The Silk Henge Spider is one of the more curious things found in the Amazon. It's not the most dangerous spider, and it's not the biggest either, but the way that it spins its webs is nothing short of mystifying. The first silk henge crafted by one of these spiders was discovered in Peru in 2013, and they have been perplexing scientists ever since. The spider actually weaves its own henge formation out of silk, creating a tapered central cone and an outer ring of delicate silk pillars that make it seem as though it's crafted its own silky stone henge. The reason behind the spider's behaviour is even more fascinating. The spider has somehow figured out how to build a walled fortification around its egg sacs to keep them safe. The spider will keep its eggs at the very centre of the structure, while the silk pillars on the outside form a defensive barrier to keep predators out. This is the only spider known in the natural kingdom that exhibits this kind of behaviour. 
And of course, this isn't scary like a monster anaconda trying to eat your legs, but the fact that something like this even exists, and that spiders have figured out how to build their own monoliths out of silk, well, depending on which way you look at it, it's pretty scary. What will they do next? Number 6. Piranhas Attack A six-year-old girl in Brazil recently died after she was surrounded by a hungry group of piranhas and literally eaten by them. According to the BBC, the girl was with her family in a canoe that capsized during a storm. The girl's grandmother managed to get the other children back into the boat, but she didn't reach Adrila Muniz in time. She was tragically lost in the Maikuru River of Brazil. Her body wasn't discovered until after the storm had settled, and when she was finally found, it was clear that piranhas had set upon her with unparalleled hunger. And while she may have been dead before their brazen attack, perhaps from drowning, it is still possible that she had been alive when the savage fish found her. If that were true, it would have made this girl one of the only people to have literally been eaten alive by a gang of vicious piranhas. The girl's body was taken to the local morgue, where a post-mortem revealed that almost all of her flesh had been systematically stripped from her legs, undoubtedly as a result of the piranha's sharp teeth. These are freshwater fish that travel in huge groups, and have the ability to consume animals in mere minutes. And while attacks on humans are indeed rare, when they do happen, they tend to be deadly. Number 5. Loggers One of the scariest things in the Amazon right now is actually people. Specifically, loggers are some of the most violent, dangerous and deadly animals currently operating in the Amazon jungle. A prime example of this was just recently when an indigenous Amazon guardian was ambushed by a pack of loggers and shot dead. There were two Amazon guardians patrolling the region, trying to keep it safe from loggers. But the loggers knew where they were. One of the guardians was shot in the neck and died bleeding out in the forest, while his colleague was shot in the back but managed to escape. This is actually the same part of the Amazon jungle where a tribe known as the Awa tribe lives. This tribe has no contact with the outside world. At least three guardians have been killed lately, as well as their relatives, as loggers push deeper and deeper into illegal logging territory and try to flex their muscle. The guardians are trying to protect the forest and keep the tribes from being contacted, but it's simply not working. The result is a lawless struggle between illegal loggers and local authorities, with the loggers unfortunately winning. The scariest thing in the Amazon will be when the loggers have cut down the trees and nothing remains of the animal species, except for maybe rats and spiders. Number 4. The Amazonian Bigfoot There is supposedly a large creature living in the Amazon jungle known as South America's Bigfoot, or by the local people as the Maypinguari. This beast reportedly has the body of a large bear, the clawed feet of a giant armadillo, the face of either a human or a monkey, and it can roar like crashing thunder. But there are some other accounts that seem a little less believable. Some have claimed that the Maypinguari is a cyclops from Greek mythology, some say it has a mouth on its stomach that it uses to eat humans, and other people believe it's a supernatural monster. Either way you look at it, the Amazonian Bigfoot is not something you want to run into. And believe it or not, this beast may actually exist. It probably doesn't have a mouth on its stomach, and it's probably not a cyclops, but it could definitely be one of the last living remnants of a giant ground sloth that lived 8,000 years ago. Giant ground sloths were thought to be extinct. In all likelihood, they are, but the one thing that could explain the existence of the Amazonian Bigfoot is that there are a few of them still hanging around, upwards of 7 feet in height, reeking of a garlic-type smell, and boasting some impressive claws. Unfortunately, every attempt at apprehending or even documenting the Amazonian Bigfoot has failed, prompting people to compare the Mapinguari to the Sasquatch and the Yeti as nothing but a myth. Number 3. The Corpse Flower Any plant called the Corpse Flower is obviously going to be pretty scary. The Corpse Flower is actually one of the biggest and rarest flowering structures on Earth. The flower blooms in the Amazon. It's almost never seen, and it only blooms for a brief period before collapsing. But while it is blooming, the corpse flower emits the rankest and most objectionable odour ever, comparable to rotting meat or a decaying corpse. According to Tim Pollock from the Chicago Botanic Garden, the smell of the flower is meant to attract pollinators so that it can continue to exist. This is similar to how most flowers work. The gross stench, the gothic purple colour, and even its warm temperature are all designed to attract bugs. But not bugs like bees. The corpse flower relies on dung beetles and flesh flies for pollination. These are the insects that eat dead flesh almost exclusively. Because the corpse flower mimics the temperature, smell and even appearance of a dead animal, 
The corpse-eating insects are of course drawn to it, and they help to spread pollen throughout the rest of the forest. What's even cooler about the corpse flower is that after it's bloomed and pollination has finished, the flower collapses in a soggy mass of grossness. This is especially gross considering the plant can be up to 15 feet tall, with leaves as wide as 13 feet. Number 2. Jaguars Jaguars are the biggest and deadliest cats in the Amazon jungle, and the third largest cat in the world, next to lions and tigers. It has a bite that can crush a human skull. But oddly enough, jaguars aren't that dangerous to humans. They're definitely scary, and you certainly wouldn't want to meet one on a dark night in the Amazon jungle, but they don't have an overly dramatic history of attacking people. Jaguars and pumas are the only two big cats in the Americas, with jaguars secluded inside the Amazon jungle, primarily in the wetlands of Brazil, Paraguay, and Bolivia. The first documented case of a man being killed by a jaguar came in 2008, when a 21-year-old fisherman was attacked in a remote area at around 7.30pm at night while on the banks of the Paraguay River. The victim had been inside his tent when the jaguar entered and proceeded to bite the guy's head. His body was dragged quite a ways into the woods and later recovered by some local friends of the fisherman. The body was discovered with fractures, dislocations, and he had suffered a severe spinal cord injury, all according to the medical case report. However, this incident was extremely rare. A case like this has never before been documented, though there have been more minor attacks. At the end of the day, a jaguar is definitely the scariest cat in the Amazon, but it's probably not going to eat your brains. Number 1. The Sawfish The sawfish is one of the least suspected bad guys of the Amazon jungle. These fish live in large rivers throughout the jungles of South America, and they are actually relatives of the great white shark. As you can imagine, the sawfish gets its name because of its snout, which is designed kind of like a handsaw. The snout actually makes up roughly 30% of its body, and yes, it is as sharp as it looks. When the sawfish defends itself, it will swipe its nose left and right, like someone flinging a sword back and forth in front of them. They also do this while swimming around, as there are tiny pores on the sawfish's nose that help it to detect electrical currents emanating from small fish and crustaceans that it likes to eat. And when it comes to scary and surprising animals that pose a threat to humans, the sawfish is definitely up there. There haven't been many accounts of a human being purposely attacked by one of these fish in the Amazon, as sawfish generally prefer to keep to themselves. However, their nose sores are formidable weapons. If one were to swipe its nose at your leg, it could slice your Achilles tendon and leave you crippled for the rest of your life. Do you still want to visit the Amazon jungle knowing the kinds of things that are lurking there? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back again soon for another awesome video.